Hi everyone, welcome back to Aim at Melanoma series, Melanoma 101. I'm Melissa Wilson, physician assistant and Aim at Melanoma's Ask an Expert. Today we're going to talk about BRAF. Now this is gonna be a general overview of BRAF, what it is, why we need it, why is it important. Um, it's something that I could spend probably an hour talking about, but we're gonna just hit the highlights here for the sake of this nice short educational video. So what is BRAF? Let's talk about it. So BRAF is actually a mutation that is present on tumor cells. It's present in other places too. It's also present in other malignancies besides just melanoma. The type of mutation that has an actionable drug right now, or drugs I should say, um, is the V600E mutation and the V600K mutation. Those are actually the most common BRAF mutations seen in melanoma patients. So it's no surprise that they would make a drug or drugs to help with those types of mutations. And what a mutation actually is, is a change in the normal DNA structure of a cell. So um, in the case of the V600E mutation, it's actually a switch um, without going too much into biology. It's switching the V and E where they would be normally placed um, in the code or the sequence of DNA. Um, it's not something that really should hold up your knowledge of BRAF, but just know that what BRAF actually is is a mutation in the DNA on your tumor cell. About 50% of melanoma patients, cutaneous melanoma patients, will have this mutation. Um, there have been some studies that have suggested that chronic sun exposure, um, younger age would have a higher likelihood of BRAF, but I'm here to tell you, and that's part of our myth, buff, myth busting, um, that patients will get melanoma that are not in those types of scenarios. So um, really having BRAF tested, especially in patients that have stage four and stage three disease is extremely important because it sometimes will guide oncologists and other medical professionals um, in how they treat your melanoma. So just to review, melanoma BRAF testing is a molecular test, which means it's part of DNA. It's a mutation that's present on your tumor cells. It's a test that actually is run on tumor tissue. If this is not something that you as a patient have to do anything for. It's something that your medical provider, whether it be your dermatologist, your surgeon, your medical oncologist, um, can request that the pathologist runs. Um, it is a test that has to be um, asked to be performed in a lot of institutions. Um, you can self-advocate for yourself and ask for BRAF testing to be performed if you're a stage three or stage four patient because that is an extremely important part of your treatment pathway. Um, but it's something that has to be sent away to do. Now, let's say that you have a inadequate biopsy for some reason that you can't run BRAF on tumor tissue. There actually is a way to run BRAF on um, as a liquid biopsy, which is actually a blood test. Um, in the constraints of this video, we aren't gonna talk about that. If that is something that you have run into as a personal situation, I'm always happy to answer questions about that. But know that most of the time BRAF is run on tumor tissue itself. So who needs this? I've kind of touched on it a couple times already, um, but stage four and stage three patients, so stage four would obviously mean that you have metastases places outside of where your melanoma originated. Stage three would be patients that have um, either in transit metastases, which actually technically is stage four, or patients that have um, lymph nodes that are positive. So those two groups of patients actually it's extremely important that they have BRAF testing done. I also want to take this little opportunity to mention that there is some reason for stage two patients in some cases to be BRAF tested as well. Um, there are actually ongoing um, clinical trials that are testing um, the use of BRAF inhibitors in patients that are stage two. Um, so there may be certain circumstances where the, your medical provider or oncologist may want to test for BRAF if you are stage two, um, but that would be right now in the context of clinical trial medicine. 
Um, it is a tr uh, test that is approved for insurance purposes for stage three and stage four patients. Um, so it is a test that can be run and is generally approved by insurance. There may be a copay for the testing. So that's one thing to keep in mind that you may still have a bill from this testing, even though it is an approvable um, test um, just because of copay. Again, if you have questions about that, your medical provider is a really great person or research to person to reach out to. Um, why is it important? So why is BRAF important? Again, we've kind of touched on this already, but it's important to know, especially in stage three and stage four patients and some stage two patients, um, in guiding the treatment decisions that we make. So there are two general types of treatment in melanoma. There are targeted therapy agents, which include BRAF and MEK inhibitors, and there is immunotherapy. In the context of this video, we're not going to talk about those, but they are available. And so there are a couple of different pathways that an oncologist can choose to treat your melanoma. If you have questions about that, I'm happy to answer those questions at the Ask an Expert line or um, by all means, and you should talk to your oncologist about those questions that you may have in regard to treatment. Um, is it bad or good to be positive? <clears throat> This is a little bit of a complicated question, but it's one that I get all of the time. And I will say that it's not good or bad to be positive or negative for BRAF. The most important thing is knowing whether or not your melanoma harbors the BRAF mutation. The reason that this is sometimes perceived as good or bad is that sometimes BRAF tumor, BRAF harboring tumors can be a little bit more aggressive but you also have to keep in mind that there is a specific targeted agent for this type of tumor. So I don't really like to think of it as good or bad. It's just more knowledge that you have about your melanoma and more things that your oncologist can use to make a treatment decision. So just remember that it isn't, your story is unique compared to everyone else's. So there are lots of factors when deciding about a treatment, which would include the BRAF presence or absence, but that's not the only part that oncologists look at, okay? Just a little soapbox message for you in regard to treatment. I do want to mention a couple of things because these are very common misconceptions. BRAF is actually not inherited, so it's not like the BRCA gene that you would see in breast cancer or other endometrial things. Um, BRAF itself is actually not a inherited mutation. So you don't need to worry if you have the BRAF mutation about passing it on to your children. Um, this is actually not the case. The other thing that is a common misconception is BRAF is only seen in young people because there was some data that suggested that, but that's not necessarily the case either. So whether you're 20 or 50 or four, um, if you have a melanoma where it is indicated to do BRAF testing, you should do it. The other thing to keep in mind is that some patients will say that this test takes forever to come back. That's not the case. So because it is a DNA test and because that means a little bit more time is needed for the procedures that are used to extract the mutation, um, it does take some time. So the general rule of thumb is to get your BRAF mutation back, it probably will take somewhere between one to three weeks. Um, if for some reason your tissue was extracted at an outside institution and you come to a different place and we have to request slides um, in which to get your BRAF test performed, sometimes the transition between another institution and our institution and getting the slides actually to the pathologist can sometimes take a little bit of time. So that's usually where we see things towards the three week mark. So just keep in mind that it is a test that may take a little bit of time to come back, um, but it doesn't take forever, certainly. So take home messages about BRAF. BRAF is a mutation that is present on tumor cells. It's something that requires tissue to be drawn, but there are some instances where a liquid biopsy can be performed to get a BRAF status. Um, this is generally done for patients that are stage three and stage four. So some stage two patients will have BRAF testing performed in the context of some treatment decision making. Um, it's important because it does give us a lot of information not only about your tumor, um, 
your melanoma in specific, but also um, it helps guide our treatment decisions moving forward. So hopefully you learned all that there is to know about BRAF if you have additional questions. And again, this is just an overview. So if you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out to me through the Ask an Expert line at aimandmelanoma.org. Um, and otherwise, I will hopefully see you again soon. Have a wonderful day. Bye.